now let's look at sequence generators okay I'm just going to write over here sequence generators we are going to see how to design sequence generators okay what this is this is simply a sequence which is continuously given as output by this circuit so if you have 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 this is the sequence that you want to generate then your output of sequence generator would be it is going to continuously give out this so whoops it is going to continuously give out this so here also you have this here also you have this okay and it is going to be repeated like forever okay so what is being repeated this thing okay again and again the same value you are going to get okay am I doing it right zero one zero one one zero zero one okay it is I think up to here right and then again up to here and then again up to here and then again up to here so this sequence is basically being repeated or given as output by a sequence generator okay so even a sequence generator we can design using a similar approach the only difference is you have to decide the number of flip flops in a different way okay so in a sequence generator the number of flip flops is calculated like this number of flip flops required so for that what you would do is let's suppose your j is equal to number of zeros okay in sequence okay in your sequence and k is equal to number of oops number of ones in your sequence okay then you take the highest of these value okay let us suppose the highest of this value is n okay n is maximum of j comma k now you decide number of flip flops using this equation okay your number of flip flops okay i would say this is small n okay is equal to or is given by this equation n less than equal to 2 raised to n minus 1 okay this is your n you put it over here and you find your n okay so let's do it for this particular sequence how many ones do I have I have three ones how many zeros I have over here I have three zeros as well okay so for this sequence let's let's take an as an example okay so let's take the example of this sequence in this sequence I have j equal to 3 right I have k equal to 3 therefore n which is max of jk is also 3 okay so what is your equation now your equation is 3 less than equal to 2 raised to n minus 1 okay so what n you can have over here you can have n equal to 3 for n equal to 3 you would have 2 raised to 3 minus 1 which is 2 raised to 2 which is 4 and 3 is less than equal to 4 okay so your n is equal to 3 right number of flip-flops 